Mom steps out of shower, doesn't notice seven-year-old Zoom call. She was busy on her phone so when she noticed her daughter standing there, she simply told her to go back to her seat and learn. She didn't look at her, or what she was holding. But then her daughter crept closer, showed her her phone, and whispered, how do I end this? Her eyes popped in horror as she realized what she was showing to the entire classroom. Like so many moms nowadays, Megan Maza Esser had to quickly adapt to a new normal when it came to her children's education amid this pandemic. With virtual learning and remote school days, she knew new challenges would arise as she navigated her six kids around this new technology and routine. But she never imagined she'd have to deal with this. At first, it was business as usual, setting the alarm for 7 a.m., she cooked breakfast and woke her six kids up one by one. After breakfast, she changed the little ones and helped them set up for online school. She designated different areas in the house for each one of her kids to learn from. If only she knew that wouldn't hold them. She had just finished setting up the kids for school when she received an email. It was the school. They often sent emails now. She was a lot more involved with the school and her children's classes now that she was essentially their school supervisor. Esser shook her head and giggled at the email. It was a warning. A warning to parents to dress appropriately around the house when their kids were attending school. Esser had heard of reports coming in about teachers seeing parents in their drawers, bras, and everything else. It bemused her greatly and also made her wonder how on earth parents could find themselves in that position. She shook her head as she continued with her day. Finally able to relax, she poured herself a cup of coffee and ate breakfast while she watched the news. She was still in her sweats. The same pair she had been wearing for almost a week now. These days it's hard to keep up appearances, especially with a pandemic and six kids. But today, she wanted to feel refreshed. She finished her breakfast and decided to take a much-deserved, long, hot shower. She treated herself to some facials and hopped in. She grabbed a heavy chunky navy towel and threw it over herself when she came out. She made her way to her bedroom. Unaware of the total mortification she was about to endure. Making her way to her room, she sat on the floor next to her phone that was charging on the wall there. She looked out the window that was in front of her and watched her little girl's part take in their e-learning PE class outside. They were dancing on the trampoline outside. Esser loved seeing them so free and careless. She mused over how happy they were, even while restricted within a pandemic. Esser smiled at them, completely unaware of the little feet that walked into her bedroom. As those little feet got closer, Esser grabbed her phone and started to text her friend. She continued a conversation about the struggle of being a mom of virtual learning kids. But her struggle was just beginning. As she was composing her text message, she knew she had a runaway daughter. Without looking at her, she told her to go back to her seat and learn. But then she saw something she hoped wasn't real. Her seven-year-old daughter walked up to her with her phone and whispered, how do I end this? Esser looked up to see her daughter's camera facing her. On her screen was a live Google Hangout with her daughter's teacher and entire classroom looking directly at her. A long moment passed before Esser realized what was happening. She looked dumbfoundedly at her daughter's teacher before her eyes bulged in horror. She stood up and flipped her daughter's phone towards the ceiling. Esser was sitting on the ground with a heavy towel around her that had fallen down to her waist, exposing everything above to her daughter's classroom. But what's worse is that in her confused reaction to stand up and toss the phone away, she accidentally ended up showing the teacher and classroom even more than what had already been exposed. She stood up, completely forgetting about the towel that was loosely wrapped around her waist. By the time she reached the phone, it was already too late. The towel fell completely. Yes, they saw everything. Once the phone landed face down on the floor, Esser, who was now well and truly humiliated, managed to discreetly end the call at long last. Esser posted about her ordeal online and the hilarious post took on a life of its own. It was soon realized that Esser wasn't the only mom this happened to. Another mom, speaking of the same experience says, parenting books teach you a lot of things. But nowhere in these books is there a chapter on how to virtual school during a pandemic. How was I supposed to handle this? A hilarious conversation then unfolded about how one should deal with this. Do they ring each child's parents one by one to apologize to them for their indecency? Do they ignore it and act like it never happened? Or hilariously deny it ever happened? 
With many funny incidents like this happening lately, perhaps a formal statement or advice should be released with a way forward for those unfortunate moms and dads who bear it all.